Today we're going to talk about the dogwood and track nose. This disease was caused by a fungus and its name is called Discula destructiva. Just based on the name, you can tell it's very destructive and you don't want to name anything like this destructiva. So this disease was first reported in late 1970s in United States and was recently found in St. Louis area. Fortunately, this is only part of a region in the states that this dogwood and trachinose was confirmed. Therefore, everyone is very careful for this disease since it is very deadly for dogwood. If you have a concern about your tree or you want to verify whether it is the dogwood and trachinose, you can contact the MDC Forester or report to their email address. You can always send a sample to my lab for confirmation, and I will also report to Missouri Department of Agriculture. Now let's talk about what this disease is and what a symptom it is. For many of you who regularly attend a town hall meeting, you might still remember my talk on track notes on trees and shrubs a couple, maybe a couple months ago. And you can tell those two photos are maple tree and a sycamore tree and trachinose disease. I think during that talk, I mentioned to you that in those trees, even though you can see the lesions and the spots are everywhere, cause a lot of defloration, normally they will leaf out during the season or next year, depends on the weather condition. This type of trachinose is called spot trachinose, which is very native to the, uh, to the North America. And this disease can also affect dogwood However, this type of the spot and trachinose is primarily on the leaf. So it will cause leaf spots or leaf lesions and only leads to the potential just the cosmetical issues. However, unlike those native spot and trachinose commonly seen in dogwood, which is shown here, today we're gonna talk about another disease which is not a native to North America, it's called dogwood and trachinose. This disease is very deadly for the dogwood and it starts with similar lesions like we saw spots and trachinose, like the lesions or spots with purple or ring. And in the early of the season, in the flowering season, you can see it can cause a lesion on the flower. The disease progress normally really fast and it will spread to the branch and twigs cause twig dieback. And eventually it will progress to more part of the tree uh, causing the canker or branch dieback and uh, causing the death of plants in a very fast way. So if you have any type of a symptom you saw from the plant, keep us posted. You can take a photos and send to a uh, contact our lab, send to our lab email address. And remember, this disease is very aggressive and they are very easy to disperse among different dogwood. Also, it will cause the tree dieback and branch, die, uh, branch dieback uh, very fast. Now let's switch gear and talk about disease management. First, let's talk about prevention. So when you select plants, try to select the disease-free plants from the reliable nursery. Please don't do transplanting trees from the forest or uh, a mountain area because that's where the disease become more prevalent. And uh, there are some disease resistant varieties in the market. You can also uh, check that out. I will also put a link of the disease fact of this disease. Second point, like I have the most important suggestion I give for all the clients have good irrigation, fertilization, and good mulching will build up the health of the plant so that you will turn your plant to be more resistant to the disease. Third, have a good scouting, check your plant regularly, check any dead tissue, and make sure it is not disease related. And if you see any dead tissues or showing similar symptoms that I showed in this talk, let us know and then have a good sanitation, you will need to do the pruning or removing the dead wood in the tree almost like yearly and rake the leaves on the ground so that they will not become the secondary inoculation or inoculum source for the next year. 
for pruning, the, the other suggestion, try to avoid mechanical or chemical injury to the tree, which will weaken the tree health condition. However, when some turn happen, you have to prune. So only prune when it is necessary and uh, avoid excessive trimming or cause, that will cause a lot of mechanical injuries. And regarding the chemical application for fungicide, you can apply fungicide in the spring, starting in the bud brick, so that you can spray every 10 to 14 days until the leaves are fully expanded.